Right now, any fire has the potential to become a very large threat. In Henderson County, two fires this week were put out before firefighters arrived. The first fire was on a barge near Ponderosa Drive in the Bonanza Beach subdivision. The second was at a back deck at a house on Circle Drive in the Spillview Estate subdivision. The Payne Springs Volunteer Fire Department says the fires were caused by welding and cutting. KLTV7's Lauren Tier talked with an expert about how to safely weld and cut in this weather and what to do after calling 911 to report the fire. Welding and cutting both require powerful tools that generate intense heat on pieces of metal. According to the fire department, the two fires in Payne Springs were the result of welding and cutting projects that had been left unmonitored for a period of time. Payne Springs Fire Rescue Chief Adam Robinson says the heat and dry air increase the risk of welding and cutting materials causing fires. It's very common that this can happen in any type of like deck or a boat dock where you have a lot of cracks because you can get uh, hot embers or pieces of hot metal that will fall down in those cracks and can go unseen for a long time. He also says welding and cutting crews should have fire spotters while working and make sure to have access to a water source or extinguisher. They also need to make sure that after they've stopped welding, they at least wait 35 minutes or to an hour to make sure that there is nothing smoldering. In both instances, civilians were able to extinguish part or all of the fire. One passerby used a fire extinguisher on the barge fire in Bonanza Beach and fire rescue extinguished a fire that had spread to a nearby dock. On the other fire, a seawall crew nearby jumped into action on the deck and used a garden hose to stop the fire before it reached the house. Robinson says the first step to effectively stop a fire is crucial. Don't hesitate to call 911. There's a lot of times we've come on scenes where it's been five or six minutes uh, before someone called 911 and they stated, you know, oh, I thought I could stop it, but it spread too fast. That five or six minutes could be the difference between people losing their houses or not. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. And regardless of whether or not you think you can stop a fire, your immediate response should always be to call 911 and then use a water source or extinguisher nearby.